what is the answer here? E, right? That's what he said. E. Okay, let's see. There is one group and there is another group. Let's say there are 100 people overall. We are considering 100 because you are asked percentage. Suppose D of them are directors. So 100 minus D of them will become managers. Suppose overall average is equal to A. So average of managers will be A minus 5000. And average of directors will be A plus 15000. Right? Let's make a full equation. D is the number of directors into the average of directors is A plus 15000 plus 100 minus D is the number of managers into the average of managers is A minus 5000 is equal to the total number of people 100 into the total average as A. Are you okay with this equation or not? Or is there any doubt here? Number of directors into average of directors is the sum of directors. Number of managers into average of managers is the sum of managers is equal to number of people into overall average is the sum of salaries overall. If you solve this, will you get the value? How many unknowns do you see right now? So maybe even after reaching this stage, you will say two unknowns, let me leave it. That's the beauty of this problem. If you solve it, A will actually cancel out and you will get D equal to 25. Just solve it, please. Please solve it. I have not done anything completely strange here. Just try to see. A will cancel out and D will come out. 25. Do you get this? A cancels or no? Just check. A will cancel out. Are you getting D as 25? You will get that. Now this would be a very surprising question for you again because after combining I am getting the answer. So my answer is not E, my answer is C. What is the percentage of directors then? Out of 100 if it is 25, so it should be 25% directors. Now this is a longer method to solve a question like this. There can be a 10 seconds approach to solving this problem. Let's see. Let's assume this is the fulcrum and this is weight 1 and this is weight 2. Can you imagine a situation like this in this problem itself? There are managers on the left side, there are directors on the left side and there will be an overall average. How much distance is this value? What is the difference of averages? If I say this is managers and this is directors, what is the difference here? 5000 and here it is. In what ratio? Okay, suppose this is 15000 away and this is 5000 away. This weight has to be bigger to balance it or that weight, ha that weight has to be bigger? Left has to be bigger or right has to be bigger? Imagine a seesaw. Okay. Imagine a seesaw with this distance is 1 and this distance is 3. Which side do you need higher weight to balance it? Left side or right side? Left side. So what would be the ratio of these weights? 3 is to 1. So that means managers to directors will always be in the ratio 3 is to 1. So 75% will always be managers and 25% will always be directors. This is a conceptual approach and this can be done in 10 seconds. There is nothing you need to do. Just see what is the difference. We will learn this in the chapter on statistics late, later. We will learn this in detail. This is a 10 second problem. The problem here is you may have taken longer and still gotten the wrong answer. E is not the answer here. It looks like the answer cannot come with either statement alone and even on combining. But that is not the case.
Is this logically clear? Not any part here. It's not clear. And please ask me if it is not clear. I will need a higher weight this side. So I'll need more managers or more directors. Okay, tell me. Managers are this side. More managers, or more directors. More managers to balance it. So in the ratio, three is to one. 